The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has now landed, alongside the standard Galaxy S24 and the S24 Plus. But while it's packed full of improvements, it also has a lot of similarities to the S23 Ultra. These are both big, powerful phones, sporting similar designs and mostly similar cameras. So just how much of an upgrade is the Galaxy S24 Ultra really? Following Samsung's latest handset release, there's a chance you might be wondering which Ultra deserves both your money and title of Best Ultra. So, to help answer that, I've looked at how the key specs and features of both the Ultras compare to each other to help you decide a better value product. The design hasn't changed much this year, but there's a more significant difference between the S24 and S23 Ultra than between the S23 Ultra and its predecessor. The front and rear glass have been flattened, making more of the titanium frame visible when you look at the device square on. On the bottom, the speaker is now one thin slot instead of multiple smaller ones, and the bottom of the S Pen has been flattened. Aside from that, the only major visual differences will be the new colors. The S24 Ultra also has an IP68 rating, meaning it has the same level of water and dust resistance as the S23 Ultra. Titanium is the star on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Following in the footsteps of the iPhone 15 Pro series, Samsung is replacing the aluminum build of old so that it can afford to fit a few more goodies inside for the same durability and weight. Beyond that, the bezels on the Galaxy S24 Ultra are slightly slimmer, and the weight and dimensions also differ a little, with the Galaxy S24 Ultra being 232 grams, while the S23 Ultra is 234 grams. Both phones have gorgeous displays, which should be no surprise. Samsung phones have boasted fantastic screens for years now. The displays are 6.8-inch 1440p AMOLED panels and can dynamically adjust their refresh rate between 1 to 120 Hz. The differences concern brightness and general legibility. The new Gorilla Glass armor is meant to reduce reflections by 75%, and the peak brightness is now an eye-watering 2600 nits on the new phone, up from the still impressive 1750 nits on the S23 Ultra. As we already mentioned, the S24 Ultra has ditched the curve, so there won't be any color distortion at the edges of the screen, the S Pen will be more usable, and screen protectors will be easier to fit. Overall though, the S24 Ultra's screen is very similar to the Galaxy S23 Ultra's. That's no bad thing though, as in our last year's S23 Ultra review, we described its screen as a stunning display with even greater color accuracy than previously. The cameras have been a focus of the Ultra line since the very beginning. Both phones feature a 200 megapixel primary camera, although the S24 Ultra is said to have an improved sensor, a 12 megapixel ultra wide with autofocus and macro support, and a 10 megapixel 3x telephoto. The periscope zoom hardware is what differentiates the two devices. The S23 Ultra has a 10 megapixel 10x lens, while the S24 Ultra drops the optical zoom down to 5x but bumps the resolution up to 50 megapixel. Samsung says that the increased resolution and larger pixels make the 50 megapixel 5x camera better at 10x than the S23 Ultra's optical 10x zoom, but how true that is remains to be seen, as we haven't had much time with the phone yet. Theoretically, this could be a big improvement, especially when zooming higher than 3x but lower than 10x. On the old phone, doing that would crop the 200 megapixel main camera or the 3x lens, resulting in subper photos. The S24 Ultra gets some neat eye camera enhancements. It has similar generative AI photo editing to the Pixel, but the standout feature is in video. The phone can have the speed of any video and use eye to generate new frames. How well that works is unknown for now, but if Samsung sticks the landing with execution, this could be a fun feature to use. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 found in the S23 Ultra was a masterpiece. It allowed the phone to power through any app or game you threw at it, all while remaining cool and offering good battery life. So you can expect a generational leap in power with the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, which should be substantial, although the Galaxy S23 Ultra is still no slouch. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is said to be 30% faster while providing 20% better efficiency. The 8 Gen 3 even beats Apple's best iPhone chip, something not often seen. The company is calling out a vapor chamber inside that's nearly twice as large as the one on the S23 Ultra and is confident it'll keep the device cooler as it works. 
We haven't had the phone long enough to test that yet, but it should mean the S24 Ultra will be more than powerful enough to still be usable in 2031 when its support ends. The improvement some users might notice between the base models is extra RAM. The S23 Ultra only had 8 gigs of RAM, unless you bought the higher storage, whereas the S24 Ultra gets 12 gigs across the entire range. In day-to-day -day use, this wasn't too noticeable, other than some apps reloading more often during multitasking. If you're a heavy gamer or switch between multiple apps at once, that difference may be more apparent. The new AI features are likely the reason for the added RAM. The Pixel 8 and 8 Pro are virtually identical aside from the reduced RAM in the smaller model, and that was enough to make a lot of the A features Google showed off 8 Pro exclusive. Whether you notice a difference because of the added RAM or not, it's good to have it going forward, as we demand more of our phones, and Android gets updated with more resource-intensive features. The S24 series comes with One UI 6.1, while the S23 Ultra runs One UI 6, both based on Android 14. We're still working our way through One UI 6.1 to find what's new, but from the looks of things, it's a significant upgrade. Samsung has gone all in on AI this year, with photo editing, live translation during phone calls, transcriptions, and more. Outside of AI, we see widgets on the lock screen, camera app improvements, and always on display tweaks. The S23 Ultra and other Samsung phones will get One UI 6.1 shortly, including the Galaxy I features, but it's not clear if any specific elements will perform differently away from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 hardware. The Galaxy S23 Ultra is promised four Android upgrades with a fifth year of security patches. When that updated policy was implemented in 2022, it made Samsung the leader of the pack for Android updates. However, that changed when the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro were promised seven years of Android, feature drop, and security updates. In response, Samsung is making the same commitment to the S24 Ultra. Android 14 was the first Android upgrade for the S23 Ultra, so its support will end with Android 17, but it will get another year of security patches. The S24 Ultra launches with Android 14, so it will be supported until Android 21 in 2031, a huge improvement. The S23 Ultra offered above-average battery life, from its 5,000 mAh cell thanks in large part to the display efficiency and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. The S24 Ultra has a brighter screen, faster processor, and the same sized battery, but battery life should be similar, if not better. The display and 8 Gen 3 are meant to be even more efficient than before, which should lead to solid battery life. So the two phones probably won't be much different when it comes to battery life. The Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra lasts around a day and a half in our tests, while Samsung claims it can last for up to 25 hours of internet usage, up to 26 hours of video playback, or up to 99 hours of audio playback. We haven't fully tested the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra yet, but Samsung claims it can last for up to 28 hours of internet usage, up to 30 hours of video playback, or up to 95 hours of audio playback. So for most use cases, the, the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra's battery life might be slightly better than the S23 Ultra's. At this early stage, we're happy to give the Galaxy S24 Ultra the early edge on what to buy solely because you're getting a longer software support window with the phone. That means more new features will make it down to the device even past 2030, if you intend on keeping it for that long. If you're an avid illustrator or note taker, you'll also definitely appreciate gaining a bit of drawing surface with the flat edged screen. These are minor differentiators, we understand, that are taking the S24 Ultra over the top of the S23 Ultra, but if all else is the same or slightly better, you might as well go for it if you can. As you'd expect, the S24 Ultra is the one to pick. The upgrades might not be drastic, but if you're upgrading from something older and these two phones are what you've narrowed your choices to, the S24 Ultra is worth it. The improvements, while small, are still improvements, and the seven years of updates are hard to ignore. If you're considering upgrading from the S23 Ultra, I'd say stick with that for longer, but for everyone else, the new phone is the one to pick, especially while there are plenty of pre-order deals to make the most of. So, which one do you pick amongst both of them? Is it the S24 Ultra or the last gen S23 Ultra? Share it down below in the comment section, and for more updates do check out our channel and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you for the next time. Peace out.